guys, welcome back to the Style and Beauty Doctor on YouTube and in today's video, we're going to be talking about beauty products that you might consider, keyword, consider, consider, splurging on. So if you want to know what the products are, keep watching. I just finished filming a video right before this. Um, I was about to put the tripod down, take the camera off, you know, go upload it, maybe start editing the video. But then I realized this is the time of year where we don't get much lighting and let me just see if I can push through and film this video. But of course I had to get comfy, so I put on my house bra and my robe, so here we are. I don't anticipate this getting controversial, but just in case, the title is Consider splurging on. I'm not saying that, you know, go into your pocketbooks right now. I'm saying consider, you know? Consider. And with that said, let us move on. Number one, beauty product that you may want to consider splurging on, makeup brushes. So I say this because um, I was doing my makeup, you know, before this video. And I was like, wow, a lot of these makeup brushes that I have, I have had for a decade. <laughs> I might not know what number the brush is because the handle's rubbed off, but the bristles and everything, they're intact. They're good. They're good to go. So um, I would say consider spending money on your makeup brushes. Now, there's some caveats with this. So consider splurging on makeup brushes that you're going to use often or makeup tools that you're going to use often. So for instance, I don't use those like um, feathery kind of brushes very often. You know, the ones that you can use to either apply highlighter or um, bronzer. I don't use those very often. So I'll probably get, you know, something from like e.l.f. or uh, Wet n Wild or even like Morphe or something like that where it's like it's not a lot of money and maybe it's something where I want to test something out. I'll get the cheaper brush first before I decide to, you know, splurge and spend my coins on a good brush that I'm not going to use that often. So there are some caveats with that. Now, brush brands that I have tried over the years that I love that I would say are very much worth their money, provided that they are brushes that you're going to use very often. MAC Cosmetics, IT Cosmetics, Sephora Pro. Sephora Pro makes some amazing brushes but for anything else like if you're just trying out brushes i would say to get like you know those brush sets um you know wet n wild makes them elf makes them popping in here to say that eco tools also make some great affordable brushes and brush sets that last the test of time real techniques also make some great brushes um i've tried them i haven't used them for very long but they are really great too and affordable okay so number two beauty product that you might want to consider splurging on foundation now big asterisk here on the foundation because the drugstore is rising up and overcoming the the shade selection at drugstores is so much better like it did a complete 180 from when I was a teenager and even when I was in my 20s like even from like two years ago drugstore makeup and the shade selection is like on it However, <laughs> sometimes I don't, I don't understand, right? Because I live in a black neighborhood. It's black for miles over here. However, sometimes, and it's not even to say like, okay, people are buying up the makeup and the store is not fast enough to replenish. The, some of these stores, these drug stores around here don't even have the dark shades on display. Like, we are buying the stuff for to buy. Like, I don't get it. So that can be a little annoying, having to go to certain, you know, drugstores to find your shade. Um, some of them don't even sell the shades, you know. Some of the deeper shades are online and you got to go through, jump through hoops to get the day going shades. But sometimes it's like, you know, it, it's for some people it's very difficult. There aren't testers in the drugstore. You have to take it home. Some of the drugstores do have really good return policies when it comes to makeup. You buy something and it doesn't turn out well. You can, if you have your receipt, you can return it in most drugstores. But, you know, check out their policies. Don't listen to me, like, for, you know, go, go, go listen to the store, read their policy and figure out what that is. But for some people, it may make more sense to just go to the department store level or above for foundation just because, one, you get someone that can help you and match you and, you know, you pray that the person knows what they're doing. Um, two, 
quite often you can get samples at a lot of the department stores or specialty stores like Sephora. And then if there's like a particular formula that you like really, 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 really <laughs> like obsessed with, sometimes that might not have made it to the drugstore yet. You may have to kind of splurge on the department store. Me, I can go either way, but a lot of my favorites do happen to be department store foundations. Okay, number three, a beauty product that you may want to consider splurging on, fragrance. I'm happy that I have found some fragrances that I love so much and just like, the minute I smell it, it's like, oh my God, that's me. That's what I want to smell like all the time. There's a, there's a bunch of like higher tiered fragrances that I love. Now, the reason why you want to splurge on fragrance, um, consider splurging on fragrance, <laughs> this phase, but with certain pricier perfumes, some of the ingredients can be very costly, which jacks up the price, but you'll get a unique fragrance experience. When you're considering these perfumes, you definitely want to take your time because you don't want to do some impulse purchase on a two or three hundred dollar perfume. So a lot of these places will give you um, either a card with the fragrance on it. They may give you a vial, a sample vial of the fragrance. Live in it for a week, maybe two weeks, see how you like it, and then you make a decision. But I do think fragrance is an area where you may want to consider splurging. This one has an asterisk next to it as well, but another beauty product category you may want to consider, consider splurging on eyeshadows. Now, eyeshadows at the drugstore have come a long way. I just finished filming a video on eyeshadow palettes that are in my stash, and these NYX palettes are super impressive, and they're only 18 bucks compared to like, you know, like a $45 or a $50 eyeshadow palette you might find at like Sephora or something. But in some situations, the department store does have that slight advantage. I just did a video where I did one eye with drugstore palettes and the other eye with the ABH Norvina Pro Pigment Palette. While they both looked identical, I did find that the ABH was, you know, slightly more pigmented. So this is one of those where it may come down to obviously budget and personal preference, but I do think that the department store Right now, as, as of me filming this video, as me posting this video, the department store does have a slight, slight advantage over the drugstore eyeshadows. These aren't categories, like beauty categories, but these are reasons why you may want to splurge a little bit more as opposed to um, maybe getting something from the drugstore. So packaging. Now a lot of the <laughs> the pricing that goes with some of these shishi fufu um, beauty products, a lot of that is in the packaging. A lot of it you don't need, but then there's some things that you're like, you know what? I'll pay the extra money for some great packaging. So for me, case in point, with powder. I love a loose powder. There are great loose powders at the drugstore level and there are great um, loose powders that you splurge on at the department store level. However, I am quite clumsy. <laughs> I am quite messy. I don't like a lot of ex excess mess. So when I open up a loose powder and there's like powder all over the place and there's nothing like really containing it, like I'm like, mm, I don't know this Dior powder has like a cushion here and the product only comes out when you kind of press on the cushion here with your brush but I can go like this and there's like no like it's open but there's no powder coming out like that me personally I think that's a reason to splurge but again consider splurging because that might not matter to everyone you know now the drugstore is getting slightly better with some of the packaging they are coming out with things that are more sleek me, I don't own a ton of makeup, even though, you know, I'm a beauty influencer and I have been one for quite some time. Um, but I do appreciate, like, nice, sleek packaging. So that's where I would kind of like... And it's not just the packaging. I really like the product that's inside as well. So I would never buy something just for the packaging and then the product inside sucks. So both have to work together. But I am someone where you know, I might edge out with the slightly more expensive one because the packaging really works within my routine. But that's not to say that sis doesn't own drugstore palettes and that these aren't just as sleek and just as good. 
So another reason why you may want to consider splurging on a beauty product, it might be because of the certain color. So for instance, me with my Urban Decay Perversion um, Glide On Eye Pencil, I, I've looked, I've been searching and searching. I have not found, the Pat McGrath Permagel Liner comes pretty close, but the um, Pat McGrath Permagel Liner is either the same price or a little bit more expensive than the Urban Decay. But I have not found a dupe that is that, and I love a good jet black sooty, and I like that this is jet black, but it's kind of inky, but not like a liquid, but just like you get the ease of the pencil with a little bit of that like sooty and jelly and inkiness of a liquid, but not all the way liquid. I love that. Have not been able to find a dupe for it yet, and I've searched and searched and search so that's something where you might consider like okay you know I'm gonna splurge because I can't find this color um, and that just not only with eyeliners there's certain other products like for instance like if you're very particular you're looking for a certain type of green and you're not finding it at the drugstore level you might want to um, check out the department store and see if like maybe some of like the makeup artist brands might have that kind of specific color that you're looking for. Drugstores have a lot, a wide array of colors, especially when it comes to things like lip colors. So you don't always have to buy department store lip colors, but sometimes the, the more expensive colors have more nuance to them. For instance, sometimes you might see like some of these like reds or oranges that are on the drugstore level. They might be, they might seem a little flat. Whereas the department store, when you kind of look at them, they have like a little nuance to it. Like you look at it and you're seeing different dimensions and, and different colors. And then there's some people who don't see that at all. And they're like, well, I'm just going to buy what's cheaper. So I've done entirely too much talking here. So it's your turn. Plus the red light for the battery has been blinking here. So I'm like talking to the skin of my teeth. But it, now it's your turn to talk. So let me know in the comments, what are some beauty products that you splurge on? And let me know why you splurge on that product versus like, you know, just getting something from the drugstore. Also in the description box, links to follow me on social. So follow your girl. Um, when I'm not here on YouTube, I'm somewhere else on the internet. So go follow me. And I will see you fine folks in my next video. Bye guys.